Mark Anderson. I am uh, director of R&D for Teledyne Scientific Company. And I'm here demonstrating uh, some new capabilities we have in image processing and fusion. So on the left, you see that we have a uh, thermal infrared image. And on the right, we have a visible image. And this is on a drone that we have up above, uh, providing kind of live imagery. And you can kind of see that the thermal provides the, the thermal signature of the folks walking around on the show floor. And then over here on the visible channel, you can see that we have a, a, an AI algorithm, artificial intelligence algorithm, that's recognizing the various people in the scene. This particular algorithm recognizes lots of different objects, but we mostly have people in this scene. Um, so this is pretty cool because we're doing this in real time on uh, an NVIDIA processor and it's also up in the drone. Uh, but we also have the ability to combine the thermal infrared and the visible into a fused image. So we call this our fusion algorithm. And this is happening live and what you can see is the thermal signature of the various people walking through the scene is where you see these yellows and oranges. But then on the visible channel you still see some of the features of the various objects in the scene. Uh, most AI algorithms are trained on visual features and so this particular classifier is, is sort of queuing off of that but you could imagine uh, in a scene that you know low light or at, at nighttime you're trying to find a, uh, a person lost in the woods you'd have the ability to see the features of the trees and the ground objects but then thermal objects like a human or uh, an animal would pop and so the idea of being able to combine these kind of high performance algorithms onto a real-time processor in a in a low swap platform is basically what we're showing.